Welcome to section 5, Visualization and Application Deployment. In this section, we will create an interactive map web application using our outputs from the Vancouver Census data in section 3. By the end of this section, you will be able to understand the logic of a Shiny application, share your map and graphics analyzed from R onto an open web platform using the Shiny package in R. This is video one, Shiny Server. We will go over the basics of a Shiny Server and understand its logic. Shiny is an R package that does not require web or software development skill to be able to code and easily share your R products to the public via Shiny or other internet servers. There are two basic components that make up a Shiny application. In the folder, called Shiny, you will put in server.r and ui.r scripts. The server R script contains background codes that make up what appears on the user interface. For example, all our code that creates the leaflet interactive map are contained in the server script, while in the UI, user interface R script, you define how you would like the content to be displayed. Let's dig into our codes. Let's first open the server script. Let's create a text output and show on the page. We'll name it caption. We'll use the render UI function to hold the content within our text output. Save the script. In server script, you can have as many outputs as you wish, and they can be in the form of plots or captions using different render functions. Let's go to our UI script. We'll use the fluid page for our page layout. A fluid page can contain as many rows as you want with the full width of 12. You can partition it into different columns. Let's add the caption output here to show on the user interface. Use comma to separate different arguments. And let's add a break after our text. Save the script and let's call our application using the run app function. Specify the directory of your Shiny folder. And there is your first Shiny application.